It matters where you buy bundles. Hacksify. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of State of Survival at Wakarash Gaming. Ladies, gentlemen and mammals, this is a quick video as I wanted to share with you some critical information. I've noticed a rumor swirling about how great Mikoto and Tweak are in the Path of Water. Folks are telling me that Mikoto and Tweak skills activate early on in the match, making them the perfect heroes to use. I saw many of you using Mikoto and Tweak in your first march. I also saw many of you using Mikoto and Tweak in your second march, thinking you could outmatch a normal second march. Yet, I was winning not one, but both marches with ease yesterday. So I started digging into my battle reports while the game was running. I noticed that there is no battle replay buttons. What does it tell you? The good old sage told us that when there are no battle replay buttons, it has to be applying the old battle engine principles. When it is old battle engine, then hero skills are not taken into account. This concept should be very familiar with most survivors as the Alliance Showdown applies the same principle. Now, that helps explain why I was winning them all easy peasy. If you see these battle reports, I had less power in both matches against my opponents and I won. I not only had less power, but also had less troops to start off with. I should be in a disadvantage and the match was not even close. I had another 60% of my troops remaining after this battle. Let me repeat, that 60% of my troops remaining to continue on to the next battle. In both these reports, my opponents used Tweak, Mikoto and Lori. I was using Gen 12 heroes resonated with Kira, Joker and Daryl with Helicopter and Gorilla. This is exactly the same heroes I would use in the Alliance Showdown. As the old battle engine does not take hero skills into account, then my stats are just too overpowering. The one more thing I noticed, unlike the Alliance Showdown, the Gorilla stats are also taken into account. Whilst the Gorilla skills may not be activated, the stats are relevant. Therefore, the march with resonated heroes with the strongest heroes, Helicopter and Gorilla, will win easy if your enemy stats is lower. Now, you'll want to ask me, okay, so what heroes should I use in my first march? The answer is simple. What heroes do you use in the Alliance Showdown? Then these should be the same set of heroes that you will assign to your march added with the helicopter and your gorilla. Then in your second march, you should assign the next best set of heroes that you can use with the airplane. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. Before I show you the rest of the match, I would like to introduce you to today's video sponsor, Paxify. Paxify offers State of Survival players 10% to 25% in-game discounts. Thanks to their amazing service, many survivors are saving a lot of money. If you want to make some purchases and save yourself some hard-earned monies, then make sure you check out the link in the description below and make your monies go further than before. Now, enjoy the rest of the match, folks, as you will see how those using Mikoto and Tweak were truly underperforming.